Guys, it is that time where I show you guys my progress of my master set for the Pokemon card set, Shining Fates. One of the most popular sets to release thus far for the Sword and Shield series. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? What's good here everybody, Darkle here, back at it again with another video. Now in today's video guys, it is about that time where I show y'all another master set progress, but this time we are doing Shining Fates everybody. Now right in front of me guys, you see a stack of Pokemon cards, check that out. Every single card on this stack is indeed sleeved up including the energy cards that you guys just saw you feel me and this is about to be a crazy video because there is a ton of cards within the set and your boy hasn't even put a dent into completion you feel me and one thing i also want to mention is all of these cards that you guys are going to see in today's video were pulled by me I did not buy any singles, reverses, rares, ultra rare, shinies, whatever's in this set. I pulled it myself from opening up sealed product. With that being said, guys, this is how it's going to go down. I'm going to show you guys the progress. This is obviously numbered from the beginning all the way towards the end. And then I'm going to show you guys how I place my cards in a Pokemon card binder, which is also Shining Fates themed. Let me show y'all. Check it out, guys. We got ourselves a shiny Charizard VMAX binder for the collection, of course. Last but not least, guys, after I show you guys the cards in the binder, we're going to go ahead and open up this Pikachu V collection box. You feel me? And hopefully we can add some more cards in the binder. So y'all, if you are excited and ready for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. Let's try and get this video to at least 500 likes. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the Ghoul Army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ghoul Army, y'all already know the drill. You could be featured in a video like the individuals that you see on the screen. But guys, we're going to start with this stack right here and we're going to see how far I have gone in the Shining Fates Master Set. So guys, obviously I collect all of the energy cards the set has to offer. So I get those out of the way first. Obviously you can just buy sword and shield energies and put them in every set but i like to collect them from the packs themselves i have no idea why i just do you feel me so we're obviously going to be starting things off with the grass type pokemon so check it out man if you guys do not know what a master set is it's basically where you get the rare card and the reverse card or the hollow and the reverse card basically both versions or all versions that the card has to offer within the set so obviously i go from the beginning and then i work my way up towards the end and yes i sleeve up every single card ladies and gentlemen just because i want a near mint master set i do not want to settle for less you feel me so check this out man we got the first holographic which is a decidueye we got our first ultra rare which is a del Mies v ultra rare pokemon card we got a grookey y'all know grookey is adorable grookey is one of my favorite starters you feel me i'm gonna be honest with you guys grookey has been growing on me 100 we got a thwacky we got the rillaboom like i said the first thing we got is all of the grass types that you guys see right here and then we got one of my most favorite cards from this set and it is the reshiram amazing rare i do not care how much this card is worth bro it's one of my favorites because i am a huge reshiram fan bro 100 and zekrom and kiram can't forget about the homies so check this out, man. We got a Reshiram Amazing Rare, and look how beautiful it is with the colors, the white. It just all blends in 
very well together. We got ourselves a couple more Ultra Rares of Cinderace. We got the V Max and the regular V. We got the Water Types, which does have the Kyogre Amazing Rare. And guys, in the comments down below, let me know which card from this set is your most favorite let me know in the comments down below there is a lot of cards to choose from it could even be a common card an uncommon it does not have to be an ultra rare you feel me just let me know which one is your most favorite in the comments down below obviously mine is gonna have to be the reshiram bro the amazing rare reshiram is my most favorite card from shining fates because it is beautiful it is absolutely art a r t that's what it is so we got ourselves some more lightning type pokemon we got the rotom like i said not all of the cards i have all of the reverses because all of these cards that you see were pulled by me none of them were bought however i might have to pull the plug and buy all of the reverses so i'm not struggling with collecting reverse cards you feel me i always do that it's the ultra rares that I like to pull myself. The secret rares, the full arts, all of that jazz, you feel me? So check this out, man. We're moving on to dark types. We got the Crobat V. The reprint Crobat V in the cuts. It looks beautiful. We got the Veltal Amazing Rare. Like I said, this set has a ton of... Of beautiful cards to offer and I don't even have half of the cards you feel me the amount of ultra rares in this set is insane bro it is absolutely insane we got the ditto V the ditto V max we got the EV we got more ultra rares on ultra rares and now we're moving on to the trainer cards and that means that we are almost close to the full arts the secret rares and the shiny so check this out man we got professor research falling all over the place so here we go here we go guys it starts right here with this all creamy v that is where it starts we got the all creamy full art pokemon card which is absolutely beautiful one of my most favorite pokemon from sword and shield bro check that out we got ball guy in the cut one of my most favorite characters from Sword and Shield, 100%. We got Carolis. I believe she's the fossil researcher. Turns your fossils into life. We got Rose with the dad bod, bro. With the dad bod. We got the all creamy secret rare VMAX, bro. I believe this is the final card within the set. And then anything after this card is a shiny. So that means there's a lot of shinies, bro. So we're going to put the secret rare and check this out, man. Look how many shiny cards are in the set. We got two out of 122 shiny Pokemon cards within the set itself. And we're starting things off with Dartrix. And that's what I mean when I said I didn't even make a dent within this master set, bro. We got an Arctovish. We got the Morpeko. We got the Dedenne. Galarian Zigzagoon, we got the Kufant, we got the Rillaboom VMAX, everybody. We got the Setascorch VMAX, Lapras V, followed by the Lapras VMAX. We got the NDD V, all of these cards are 100% shiny, everybody. 100% shiny. We got the Double V, we got the Eldegoss Bolton, and these are just the promo cards that you can get from Sword and shield shining fates so guys that is all of the cards that i have collected so far for my shining fates master set all of these cards were pulled by a boy 100 so now i'm gonna go ahead and put all of these cards into that charizard binder and we're gonna see how dope does this collection look so far despite you know missing a lot of ultra rares i feel like it's still gonna look absolutely amazing all righty guys so here is the beautiful shiny charizard binder and right in front of me i have the perfect fit sleeves that i'm using for hollows and non-hollows and then for the ultra rare secret rare shinies i'm gonna put them in etb sleeves because they're sturdy and they're amazing you feel me so let's go ahead and crack this binder open and let's fill it up with the cards that we have and see how many pages can we fill. So we're going to start things off with the grass type Pokemon. So let's get it, man.
Alrighty y'all, so here is the grass types all organized. Now normally I would separate the cards I'm missing, but for the purpose of the collection, I left them together. So let's go ahead and fill up the rest. One eternity later. And here is my current Shining Fates Master Set collection, everybody. Check it out from the grass types, from the fire types, from the water types, and so on. You feel me? You can see ultra rares, amazing rares here and there throughout this binder collection. Like I mentioned, normally I would space out the cards I'm missing, but since I'm moving it to a different binder when I complete it, it doesn't really matter for this video. You feel me? I just put everything together just to make it a lot more easier to the eye. You feel me? But this right here is my final page, and it is my favorite one with the shinies, guys. So let's get cracking into some packs. Alrighty, y'all. After seeing that collection, we're now going to jump into the Pikachu V collection box, everybody. So first things first, we got ourselves the Pikachu V promo card. And I probably have like a million of these Pikachu V promo cards. So that's nothing too crazy. But we're still going to put it as a star of the show either way because... It's Pikachu. It's our only Ultra Rare so far. Next up, y'all get to have the code card for the Pikachu V Shining Fades box. And then we have our booster packs, guys. So let's see if we can end off this video on a high note. And hopefully we can. Hopefully we can get a card that we need for that master set. You feel me? So here is the first code card, guys. And wish me luck. Let's get some bangers. We are going to get some heat in this pack. Check that out. We got a fire energy to show for. And y'all know fire equals heat and heat equals a banger pool. So let's get it. We got the trap inch, the Yanma, the coughing and boss's orders, regular rare. Okay. Maybe I was just playing around with that first pack. You know, first pack magic doesn't always work. It's the second pack magic that actually matters you feel me so let's go ahead and do four we got the psychic energy and that means that i predict that there will be a banger inside this pack bro 100 i am a psychic man we got the more peco we got the chudle glossifer we got the nickets dart tricks and we have the manaphy regular rare so i was just kidding i'm not a psychic bro there is absolutely nothing within the second pack i was talking about the third pack bro third time is always the charm man so here is the code card let's take this to the top man let's take this to the top we got another fire energy and now i can 50 percent guarantee there will be something within this pack we got the grookey we got the double v shiny card guys check that out we have the double V shiny. Unfortunately, I already have this card for my master set, but it doesn't hurt to get duplicates because you can always trade them for a card you don't have. You feel me? So check that out. We got the double V in the cut, followed by a double banger. And this Cramorant V Max right here is actually a card that your boy needed for the collection so i'm actually really happy that we got both of these pools in one single pack i told y'all third time is the charm but we are going to put the double v as the star of the show because it's a shiny full art now let's see if this final pack can live up to its expectations and hopefully we can at least get maybe some last pack magic. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe we can get something. We about to find out right now with a psychic energy. And I predict that there will be at least a holographic Pokemon card within this pack. So let's see, man. We got the Trap Inch. We got the Yanma. We got the Buzel. So after this is our shiny or our reverse. It is... We got a shiny card. Let's go. We got ourselves... The pin ker chin. Pin ker chin. Pin churchin. I'm pretty sure it's pin ker chin, right? Let me know in the comments down below if I'm saying that correctly. But I feel like I'm butchering it. But at least we got ourselves a shiny Pokemon card that we actually needed for the master set. So check that out. That is absolutely adorable. 
And the final card, guys, the final card within this video is a Rillaboom holographic. So I am indeed a psychic. I told y'all there will be a hollow within this pack. So we're going to put Rillaboom right there and we're going to sleeve up this shiny card right here. And I'm kind of positive that this card is more expensive than that double V. However, for aesthetic reasons, we're going to leave the double V as the star of the show. So guys, I was getting nervous for that Pikachu box, but at least we got four pools out of four packs. So that basically made up for the first two dud packs that we got. And then obviously we have the bonus Pikachu V. So we ended things off on a high note. Without further ado, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Like I said, let me know which card is your most favorite from Shining Fates. Is it the Charizard? Is it the Double? Is it the Reshiram? The Kyogre? The options are almost endless, bro. Let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.